Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. What up, baby? Welcome back to Open Mic Night. It's day two here in Austin. We all just woke up for the day. Tonight, we're trying to get on the Mothership Open Mic and Kill Tony. They both only select a few people, so it'll be very hard to get on. But we're just going to try our luck, and hopefully one of us makes it. Right now, we're gathering a crew to go to Costco to gather groceries. And we're also setting up podcast equipment. We might do a couple podcasts today. Damn, podcast setup looking nice. Yonki! What's up, boy? What's up with it? What's up, fucker? <laughs> we got to scout out the donut prices. Dude, the, the prices look good here. This is ridiculous, actually. A dozen glazed, two chocolate, two maple, two strawberry. I can do those donuts. I, that's one thing out of anything <laughs> on the trip I'm confident I can do. Donuts are in the house, baby. Glazed half of donuts. Then four blueberry, four. The Costco guys are back, baby. We got the fruit platter. Yeah, this is all for Phil right here. We got the fruit platter. I'm the fruit guy, dude. Everybody knows I'm the fruit guy. That's gonna keep you full. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, 32 burgers right there. A ton of bread. Vegetables, all right, we got broccoli. Yankee, we got broccoli. This is what a man looks like. We got <laughs> creamer. Ooh, we got bacon in there. I love it. A rotisserie chicken. Two rotisserie chickens. And a bunch of eggs. Good job, boys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got shorted an egg. They took an egg. <sighs> Just got back from fucking Phil's mom. <laughs> Sign up is at 6.30. Sign up for the Mothership overnight is at 5.30. We got the writing session going on over here. No, we think we cracked the code. We got it. The perfect <laughs> joke. the blow? <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. We're all hanging around at the house writing jokes and getting ready for Kill Tony. I'm really nervous. I have a feeling I'm gonna get on Kill Tony either tonight or next week. But yeah, everyone's trying to prepare their minute if they get called. You get one minute. And I don't really watch the show, but apparently you get interviewed after you do your stand-up. So I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say for that. We're gonna leave to go sign up for Kill Tony in a couple of hours, but we're just gonna chill until then. I'm gonna represent the Kansas City comedy scene in Kill Tony fashion and eat my own fucking ass. Brand new shirt from Target, eight dollars. Fuck yeah. with your hey, boy. Hey, how about mine? Yeah. yeah, we goon, bro. We it's goon. goon time. We're goon just time a, we're a just a time. couple of gooners. I'd rather be gooning. This is a gula gooner goon. sooner, dude. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Gooning. We're ready to go. This is gonna be the night that changes everything for one of these. Lucky bastards. This guy thinks he's Tony Inchcliffe. We are on the way to kill Tony, where That's one of us will hopefully get on. May the odds be ever in your favor. As you can see, the wild open micer chases its dreams through a field of losses and bad bombs and shitty open mics. But alas, soon the dream will be caught. It won't. It won't be. It won't happen, dude. This is National Geographic, okay? Everyone dies, all right? Don't chase your dreams. It looks like this. Kill Tony, here we come, baby. Phil, who do you think's gonna pick, get picked tonight, if anybody? Um, man, I don't know, to be honest with you. I, I, I like, I, I have no clue. Maybe, maybe Cam, hopefully? I bet it's either me or you. Me and Phil are twinning tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's both of us. Yeah, look at the fits, dude. It's hard to get it all on frame. Yep, twinning. 
People ask us if we're brothers all the time. Yeah, we get asked if we're twins a lot. I think it's because of the haircuts. Identical. Basically, yeah. I mean, I'm also jacked as fuck, so. Couple of jacked dudes. Just a couple of jacked guys jacking guys, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> all right, there's the sign up, baby, right there. No going back after this. Hi. We're going to the creek in the cave now to sign up for uh, another open mic while we wait. There it is, baby. Got a good amount of people out front. Long line at the creek in the cave. The line is moving. Guys, we only signed up for the mothership open mic. Now we have to sign up for Kill Tony. We thought it was the same sign up. We made it to Kill Tony sign up at good intentions. Me and Phil just signed waivers to go on Kill Tony. Oh, hey, watch the camera. Bro. And now we're going pee next to each other. Indeed. Yep, we're putting our name in the bucket. Yep. One of our own did get picked for the comedy ship open mic. Sweet. Comedy mothership open mic. It was Dane O'Connor. We'll see how he did later. We all signed up for Kill Tony. Now we have to hang outside the show from 8.15 to 10.30 in case we get pulled. We're not allowed to go inside because we didn't buy tickets. It's been sold out for months. We're gonna wait out here and see what happens. We killing time waiting for Kill Tony to start. I'm about to get a slice of pizza from the place next to the mothership. This is how close it is to the mothership. It's a giant piece of pizza, guys. It's really good. If you go to the mothership, you should definitely try this pizza. It's fire as fuck. All right, now we're on the way to go wait at Kill Tony. There's the crowd for Kill Tony lining up. And this is the bar we have to wait at, so not too bad. First person just got called on Kill Tony. It was none of us. Second person just got called. Still none of us. Another person just got called. There he goes. All right, that guy in the yellow shirt is the next guy going. Where they walk over to the mothership. There's the next contestant. There she goes. Get it! We've been out here for an hour and 45 minutes. My legs are getting tired of standing. How are you feeling, Joe? Very happy, very excited to be here in uh, Austin, Texas. Yonke, how are you feeling out here? I'm feeling ready. I'm going to be the next name. That's the mindset, manifesting it now. We got Gandalf in the house, baby. Jane got picked to go at the Comedy Mothership open mic. Yeah. Tell me how it was. Uh, dude, actually it fucking ruled. Super cool room, everyone's super cool. Uh, best, tightest three minutes of my life. Dude, hell yeah, congrats. Thank you, Mike. I was, ex I was expecting it to be a really good room. It's really good, it's, it's the best I've ever been. It lives up to the hype. The next person has just been picked. It's that guy right there. There he goes off to the mothership. I think that was the seventh person to go. There's probably like one or two more people that are gonna get picked. The last pick is coming in. That guy's bringing it in. Who's it gonna be? Oh, never mind. The show's over. None of us got picked. Sorry, everybody. We're coming back next week to try again, boys. Don't worry. Time to go to a backup open mic. Yeah, dude. We're headed to a place called Peckerheads. There it is. The next open mic. Alright boys, I just got done with my set. It was a really cool venue, but unfortunately there's nobody in the room. I was pretty much just performing for the guys that I came with. I opened up with a joke about comparing the Rubik's Cube to a clitoris. I think that a Rubik's Cube is a lot like the clitoris. They're fun of, to play around with for a while, but I always get bored before they're finished. Right? Does anyone in here know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? Nobody? Does anyone in here know how to make a girl come? Nobody? All right. And then after my set, the host had something funny to say about that. He asked if any of us have made a girl come. Would we be here if we made a girl come, brother? Fuck. <laughs> All right. And then I tried to tell that drunk driver joke that I've been working on. I saw a headline in the newspaper 
it said, young man killed by drunk driver. And I thought that was really scary because, you know, that could have been me. I'm a drunk driver. I was really drunk last night, like that actually could have been me. I thought that speed bump just had arms. <laughs> and then I tried to tell a new joke that I wrote today about telling a girl that I have a big penis. I was talking to a girl and I told her that I had a big penis, but she told me that she didn't like big penis. So I had to try and walk it back. I sounded like a real estate agent trying to sell a small house. I'm like, it's actually very conveniently sized. Very cozy. And then I closed with the fruit fly joke, even though it's a really corny joke. I just felt like telling it. I have a lot of fruit flies in my house. I have a bit of a fruit fly infestation. So I invented a song to help me kill them. It goes like this. If you have fruit flies and you know it, clap your hands. And that's how you kill the fruit flies. All right, you guys, give it up for your host. Thank you. And that was the set tonight. It's a bummer that none of us got on Kill Tony. I'm glad at least one of us got on the Mothership open mic. That's pretty dope. We're having a lot of fun out here in Austin. It's really late now, so I don't think we're going to be going to any more open mics. But thank you guys for coming along. It has been a lot of fun. That is day two in Austin. I fucking love you guys. Have a great night. Peace. If you want open mic night to come to your city, then tap the link in the description and tell me what city I should go to next. This program is made possible from contributions by viewers like you. Thank you.